Well, in case you missed it this last Sunday at church, we had a big announcement, and that is that Jeff is going to be moving on from Foothills. And so he'll be finishing out as our youth pastor at the end of June. He'll be stepping away. And um, Jeff served here for many years, and he's leaving on a great note as far as the relationships that he's built here amongst staff and amongst all of our people. Um, and there's no, no reason for us to say, get out of here, Jeff, you know, as far as character or anything like that. Um, this is just simply him and Deanna following God's lead in their lives. And so I wanted to give him an opportunity to share that with you all. And so, Jeff? Hey, Foothills family. Uh, when we arrived here in 2006, which was a long time ago, um, we were coming from a place where we were tired and worn out, exhausted from a tough ministry assignment, and you were precisely what we needed. God had led us to this fellowship so that we could heal, so that we could grow, um, and we've counted it a privilege to be numbered among you. Um, with that in mind, I, with all the different roles that I've served, I've had an opportunity to get to know a lot of different people in a lot of different segments in this church, and, and, and it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun for me. And so with that in mind, I do have three things I'd like to share with you. Um, first of all, thank you. Uh, thank you for loving us and loving my family. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to, to raise our kids here and, and to uh, give us a place where we could serve together. Thank you for those of you who are ahead of us in the parenting journey. Uh, you don't know this, but you've influenced us in a very positive way in the, in the manner in which we parent our kids. Uh, thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your cards. Thank you for your well-timed jokes. Thank you for calling me out when I, I've been a jerk uh, and, and for graciously forgiving me. Um, uh, the second thing I, I want to tell you is that we love you and we will miss you. Uh, as I said, we did come here after a, a rough ministry assignment, uh, um, but, but beyond that, we, we, I have not been a part of a church that, that I've loved as much as this one, to be honest with you. And, and so when we went into this practice of asking God, um, God, where would you send us? Where would you send us? And, and so in 2006, we came here just to attend church here, but we wanted to make sure we were in a place in our life where we could go quickly, where God would send us and just follow without hesitancy. And we didn't know that God was going to send us here, and we were grateful for that. And so 2010, I stepped on staff as a business manager, and later on, in, in 2012, as the administrative pastor, and then finally in 2015, the youth pastor. And it's been a fantastic journey to be with you. Now, during this time, we've maintained the same mindset. God, we'll, we'll be here as long as you have us. And in the last year, God's stay has changed to go. Um, and although I'm holding it together for this video, um, it's, been, it's really difficult to say to goodbye to you because we, we love you so dearly. Uh, and finally, the last thing I, I want to say to you is that we will pray for you. I often pray scripture over people because uh, it expresses, I think, better what I think I should be praying for people. And this is what I've been praying for you. And it's from Ephesians chapter 3, 14 through 19. And it says this, For this reason I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Well, um, obviously we're, we're going to be sad. We are sad and will be sad to have Jeff not with us moving forward. And, and Jeff and Deanna, you can be praying for them as they figure out what's next for them. They're figuring that out. They're not moving from here into another ministry position that they have in mind or that's been offered to them. Um, and so you can be in prayer for them as they figure out what the future looks like. Um, but this is not uncommon for people of faith. It's not common for a lot of the people 
um, that call Foothills home. We, we walk by faith and when God calls us to take a step, even if we don't quite know where it's leading, um, we're called to obey. And, and we're in agreement with Jeff and Deanna as, as elders and as leaders here that, that we see God's hand in this. And so um, while we're sad, we're excited to see where God will take them and, and how he will shape them in that journey. And so, um, like I mentioned before, they'll, they'll be around for the next couple months. We'll have some opportunities to say goodbye to Jeff and Deanna. Of course, if you catch them on a Sunday or at a midweek youth program um, or wherever, uh, feel free to engage them and, and pray with them and talk to them and, and ask them how they're doing and let them know how much they mean to you. Um, we'll have a lunch where we get to say goodbye to Jeff. He'll get a chance to preach here coming up in the next uh, month or so. And, um, and so those are opportunities that we'll have. As a church, we'll post a youth pastor position here this week and we'll start taking applicants. You know, our hope and desire, Lord willing, is that we'll have someone in place for our students at the beginning of the school year. And that's a, that's a, big, that's a big hope and dream uh, to get someone by the school year, but that's what we're hoping and praying for. So you can also join us in prayer for that. And so thank you for checking out this video and for staying in the loop on what's happening here at Foothills. And we do really covet your prayers. And, and ask for them for our church. Can I ask? Files. Can I add one more thing? Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. I was, this is totally that was off like script. Wrap up time. I know. For me. I'm sorry about you that. You saw that train. Hey, I am. To a I mean, I, I'm convinced that God has something in store for for my family uh, and where He's leading us. But but more than just us, God also has Foothills in mind too. And, and I'm convinced God has exciting things in store for Foothills in the days ahead. And so uh, we look forward to hearing what God is going to be doing in your midst, even after we're gone. Yeah. We love you guys. We'll see you soon.